Okay, today I'm tearing apart an engine out of a 2015 Mitsubishi Mirage that had 325,000 miles or 524,000 kilometers. Still ran, was still in use. It was just getting a little noisy. Okay, I'll try and make this uh, video a little bit quicker than the last one I did, which... Uh, was on an engine that had 450,000k. If you want to go and click on that, I'll put a link in the video here somewhere. But uh, yeah, I'll just start with the valve cover. I'll try and go through here pretty quick and basically just show what I see inside this thing. Yeah, so looking in the oil pickup tube, the other engine I tore apart had some of this red uh, crap inside there, and so does this one. But on this one, it's on the other side of the screen. The other engine I tore apart, it had that stuff on the uh, on the oil pan side, and this one is on the oil pump side. So not sure. Uh, we're still not sure what that is exactly. Yeah, something kind of neat I noticed on this one. Um, yeah, th this engine has, what, 75,000 more kilometers on it than the other one I tore down. And then this water pump, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not leaking, and the bearing's good in it. So a lot of the parts in these things must be kind of hit or miss, I guess. But, uh, um, yeah, because the other car that I tore the engine apart on it was bought at the same time as this. They're both maintained by me. Um, both use the same oil and filters and did all the same stuff. Basically the main difference was the uh, driver. And the one thing about this engine compared to the other one that I tore apart that had less miles is this one had um, 12,000 kilometer oil change inter intervals done on it for the first 400K, like 400,000 kilometers. And then we switched to 6,000K. But, uh, yeah, whereas the other engine, it was 6,000K right from new. And you'd never know it by looking and comparing the two engines. So here's a comparison of an engine with 15,000 kilometers on the left and, uh, well, this 524 one on the right. Yeah, uh, the high mileage engine only is kicked out, like the tensioner is only kicked out about one extra notch, but it's still a fair bit, but... Yeah, so both timing chain guides they did show a bit of wear, but they were still definitely usable for uh, for a bit.
And all the lifter buckets looked in uh, good enough shape. They all had two little marks in them from where the, what I'm assuming is where the camshaft lobes were rubbing on them. And the camshafts themselves looked in pretty good shape as well. Yeah, these are the same camshafts here. I just tried to get a different angle, different day. Tried to get a bit of a clearer shot just to show how, I, how uh, a little wear there is on these things. Yeah, so overall, all the bearings looked in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, same with the other engine I tore down. And yeah, it's fairly clean inside. The pistons especially are way cleaner. They do have uh, wear on both of the skirts and scuff marks in the cylinders, but as far as the oil rings go and everything else goes, it's way, way cleaner. You can read the top of the pistons, you can read all the numbers on it, and the oil rings are nice and clean. Really surprised to see this. And here's piston number two. It's also in really good shape as well. So not really anything noticeably worn out. All the wrist pins seem to be in good shape. Same with the rod bearings. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what was making that noise other than the, well, the only damage I've seen on this engine so far is the piston skirts. They're worn by pretty bad. So I don't know if the, it was a piston slap rocking around in the cylinders causing the, Causing that clacky noise. Here's the third piston, same thing. All of them have uh, pad piston skirt, like score marks in the cylinders too. But it seems like they always have it on the one side more than the other. I'm gonna tear down a couple more of these engines that uh, had a similar noise and try and, uh, I'm assuming they're all gonna have that same piston skirt wear on them. I ended up going back and Re, uh, getting a better video of these pistons, how, uh, just how good a shape they're in. Uh, all I did was wipe them with a rag. And you can see they are in way, way better shape than the, uh, than the ones in the other engine that I tore down with less miles. At least they look in good shape to me. Okay, on the left is the piston out of the engine that I previously tore down with 450,000 kilometers, and on the right is the one that I just pulled out of this engine with 524,000 uh, K.
And here's a quick look inside the water jacket where the water pump goes. It looks spotless inside. I did change the coolant once when I replaced the radiator. Other than that, it's it's the same uh, blue import premix coolant that I dumped in there. And I couldn't really get a good picture of the cylinders. They were pretty polished up except for the score marks on each side where the piston skirts were uh, scuffing. And here you can see the back side of the engine is the one that has more scuff marks. It's all scuffed up far more. This would be the back side, the side facing the firewall, I guess. So, And in a sec, I'll flip it around and show the front side. And it's, yeah, quite a bit different. Yeah, so here's the front. They don't look nearly as bad. So here's some of the main bearings. They look in pretty good shape. The one added, looks like it had a little speck of dirt or something on it. But overall, not bad for 500,000 K, well, kilometers. Okay, so here's the main bearings out of that engine. I don't know how well this is going to pick up, but uh, yeah, a little bit of wear, but yeah, and I only have two of the rod bearings here. I think I'll put some pictures in before uh, I got a little bit better, slightly better lighting over here. Um, yeah, these are only from two. They all look pretty much the same, except for these ones. They got some... Uh, crap on them. This is what thrust washer, thrust bearing, whatever you want to call it, to stop the crank from locking. And back to the cylinder head. You can see here the coolant temp sensor and the purge solenoid. And just look inside the water jacket again here. It looks, looks mint inside. Much better looking on the inside than the outside. And yeah just showing what the what the valves look like basically not too much crap built up on them the exhaust valves are on the right and the intake valves are on the left Yeah, well, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I just got a couple of random pictures of the bearings and uh, one of the pistons that I'll end this with. And I guess it turned out to be just as long as the other video I did. So, so much for being a little shorter. Anyways, thanks for watching.